Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have a little story behind today's video. So in one of my tutorials, I said that I wouldn't make Jormantide Ignis because there wasn't an exclusive fire skill. But in reality, there was an exclusive fire skill. And I want to give thanks to Simple Really for letting me know that Blazemot has Fire Emperor. So I was glad because I thought, well, now I can finally make a perfect Yormitide Ignis because I see a lot of people praising it for some reason. But then I realized the only way to breed Yormitide Ignis is by Yormitide Ignis. So yeah, it doesn't work. And that brought me to this video. I was like, wait, why don't I just look up which pal has the highest base attack when it comes to maximum IV? And after the research, I have come to the conclusion that aside from Belanoir, which is a raid boss, the highest damage pal in the entire game is actually Necromus. Yes, this is the perfect Necromus with Ferocious, Lord of the Underworld, Muscle Aid Legend. He was right under my nose this whole time. I've been breeding Lord of the Underworld to all Dark Pals without realizing that he had more damage than them. Just as a comparison, look at Belanoir and look at Necromus. Or should I say, look at Belanoir the Ass Kicker and Inflictor of Hemorrhoids. The difference between them is literally two attack. Of course, when you put the hook rates and the Lokomoko food buff, the difference would be a bit bigger because well that's how math works so yeah i actually haven't seen the full potential yet so let's see how much we can get them let's give them the locomoco just for reference yes all these pals have been fed with the food buff so yeah that's why they're cracked and by the way shadow beak my uncle is almost the same as necromus while having a food buff of course you can see the food buff in the circle above the HP. That one. So yeah, it's gonna be really interesting to see just how fucking overpowered Inflector of Hemorrhoids is. So let's feed them. First of all, without the hook rates. Yeah. Yeah. Compare it to everything else. Yes, it does have more damage than all the other perfect pals, which is absolutely insane. And still only two attack. Interesting. Okay, let's see how strong they are with the hook rates. Yeah, this is insane. Okay, here is the big difference. So yeah, Inflictor of Hemorrhoids is the only pal in the game that can reach 3700 attack. And on my arsenal, the only two that get close are Frostalian Noct and Jet Dragon when we get a hook rate type pal for dragons. But for now only Frostalian Noct. And even that is not 3700. So yeah, the math on the sites was correct. And this is even more than Jormantide Ignis. So yeah, of course, as usual, we are going to play with him. Let's go. Where the fuck is that Frostalian bitch? Keep in mind that I do have the recovery at maximum. This is purely for showing off the damage. So let's go. What the fuck was that? Okay. I mean, to be honest, that's kind of not good, <laughs> really. Okay, I see. I see how this is. Anyone with eyes can see that this is not great. <laughs> For what he's supposed to be able to do, this is not good. Like... Okay, this move is kind of really shit. Okay, okay, I think I get it. I just want to show you the comparison with Bill and Noir. And actually, why not? We can also showcase Frostalian Knock 2. Just look at what Bill and Noir can do on a single attack. Not even a combo, just a single attack. Good, he's recovered. Yeah, this is not even... Yep, there is no match. The attacks themselves are overpowered. Belanoir is just built different. Sure, she cannot be ridden, but that doesn't really matter because she's just built different. Like, too literally. Let's see what Frostalian Noct can do. By the way, these all are literal perfect pals. Like, the best version you can get. So, 
Yeah, this is the ultimate show then. Okay, this is not on par with Bell and War. Let's see Dark Wisp actually. Yeah, Dark Wisp is like the only attack that kind of makes sense with the damage. Probably because it's a bug. I mean, if, if you don't know about Dark Wisp, it's a boss attack. The Victor and Shadow Beak. You're not supposed to have it. Let's take him away. So we can try uh, Shadow Beak. Because Shadow Beak actually has two overpowered attacks, not only one. Come on, Shadow Beak. Do your thing. Of course, this beam is really bad. Now, this move. Divine Disaster. This is actually really good. Oh, wait. Dark Wisp didn't do much, really. Anyway, let's take him away. Let's end with the topic of this video. Inflictor of Hemorrhoids. Maybe because he takes a long time to kill someone. <laughs> yeah, this is really bad damage. How is he fucking 3700? How the fuck do you have 3700 and an attack this shit? Oh wait, wait a second. This move's actually insane. If only it actually worked. This does insane damage. Wait a second, wait a second. No, 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 don't damage. Wait, wait, wait. Thank god this move is actually shit. Okay, so twin spears. This is the exclusive move. Okay, actually, wait, wait, wait. Let's let's go to Anubis real quick. Because that Twin Spears thing was actually really decent compared to, like, the debugged stuff and the raid exclusive. Okay, Beam, no one cares. Against Anubis, he's actually really good. I'm not sure if... Yep. Uh... Okay, okay. It just happens that Frostalion was extremely lucky that he avoided almost all to win spears that inflictor of hemorrhoids tried to do early on the moment he got hit that was some actual good damage so yeah i'm guessing i'm guessing it's just the attacks even though twin spears is like less than dark laser dark laser is really shit i don't know how the fuck it's 150 power it's literally a scam dark laser is a scam literally you're probably better off with a lower damage and lower cooldown ability maybe like spirit flame or something i don't know how the fuck dark laser is this shit anyway come here boy or girl i guess for the purposes of this video yes we do have the perfect pal we do have the highest damage pal in the game and you know what yup it's actually called Bell and Wari at the ass kicker. <laughs> now I just want to try it real quick like actually correctly using the twin spears. Come on do the thing. Oh yeah oh yeah of course Th this does really nice damage. It's not the best in the game I mean yeah it's not the best but it is pretty damn good. Let me use it myself. No 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 that's why it's shit it's literally like frostalian literally just dodged <laughs> like it didn't even care that's the only reason why can't i do this like did you see what he did he was able to track him down and do a freaking 180 u-turn i wonder if i'm missing the technique come on yeah do this yeah, this is the only problem with it. It's just maybe the game itself is a bit buggy for it. Like the whole knockback and whatever. Why the fuck are you there? Okay, come for Stallion. I want you to be in front of me. Shit. This is the problem. When he uses it, it's completely fine. I mean, look at this damage. Yeah, if Frostalian doesn't like hover that much, he would be destroyed. But uh, the attack itself kind of puts a disadvantage on itself for some reason. Let's try to trap him. Oh yeah, yeah, like this, like this. Let's see now. Look, this is... It's just the... <laughs> Freaking physics is so weird that you cannot hit the target. It does crazy damage, but, well, crazy damage is literally zero damage if you cannot hit the target. So, yeah. I still say Belenoir and Forstallion Noct are the best pals in the game, and, yep, that's about it.